Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hey again everyone, welcome back, it is day 46, don't worry, the audio for today is mostly okay, for some reason the first 7 or 8 minutes, basically just the farm run, had some weird distortion coming through on it and it was basically unlistenable, so I figured I'd just play it in fast forward while covering everything that I said during that time, which is basically what we're planning to do today. And that is to do the Scurriest, so we can compare it with the Sulfur Nagua. Part 2 of we yesterday did the Sulfur Nagua, today we'll be doing the Scurriest portion and seeing how it lines up as an effective training method. First, of course, we do have to get through our burbs and our herbs, and then we did go to the GE at the end of all that. But yeah, that's basically where we're at. I don't think anything else important really got said. It was a nice haul today of Renars. 54 came through, and we did plan Aventur instead, seeing as those were the more cost-effective option after our checks yesterday. I will allow myself at the GE... To continue the show as normal. Everything that was in the G has sold. Lovely. Do we have anything else? I think nests, but that's probably it. I don't want to spend too long looking at my bank here. We got some iron and coal there from yesterday, and a sulfur blade, a couple of gems. But yeah, mainly just. Oh, I forgot I picked up those monk rubs to sell there, didn't I? It was a while ago. Okay. So let's get ourselves a blowpipe. Let's get ourselves 2,000 scales. It's enough to get us started. It's about 3,000 attacks worth. And what darts are we going to be going with? I'm not really sure. I mean, amethyst are the best, but I bet they're expensive, aren't they? 251 coins each, so what's dragon darts? They want 1,000 each. Are amethyst not the best? Rune darts are 153. I feel like amethyst is... Is where we want to be. Okay, so maybe that's between Rune and Dragon. I don't know, I've never used Amethyst stuff before. That's expensive, isn't it, though? I think we're going to be fine with Rune, honestly. So, I think I'd just get, like... Yeah, that's going to be a bit better. To get us started, at least, you know. Let's get this old blowpipe kit on as well. Gonna have the blazing version. Oh, you're going to charge. Boom, boom, boom. Well, we got the blowpipe now, that's nice. Is there anything else? We need a trident. We will be needing a trident at least. And I will just get a full one because it's easier than doing it myself. Thank you very much. Can't wield it yet, we don't have 75 magic. But that is two more items now that we can add to our red setup. Very nice indeed. Looking good at the moment, honestly. Right, so we're going to Scurrius. What do we want for Scurrius? We want melee gear plus bone mace plus... Is it worth taking the dragon man necklace? I don't think that's worth it. We're going to be flicking most of the time. I'm going to take the Alks just in case because it does drop Alka balls. We're going to take a DDS and we are going to get a couple prayer pots and a super attack and a super strength. I'm going to need more prayer pots than that. I have a feeling. I guess this is what we'll attempt with some food. Fuck it. We'll go expensive food. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to get out there because we've been sat at this bank too long. But that is about how long we spent there yesterday, so it should give us a fair comparison at least. Right, quick prayers. We are all set. What mode are we on? Strength. 
We're good to go. Currently level 68, hopefully. We should at least get up to 69 today. And then there will just be one more level of strength before strength is checked off the list. Pre-raids. I should have pre-pod. Oh, that is loud. Oh, because I didn't turn my thing down. I probably want to keep it area sounds high. Yeah. Sound effects low so I can flick without it hurting everyone's senses. It's hard to flick here. Because you spend so much time doing other shit. Like hitting rats and stuff. First kill's looking like a pretty quick time though. First kill done. Didn't lose too much prior but... I think I'm just going to dump my specs like I do at other places so that I can make the most of my flicking without worrying about them recharging. Took a lot of damage on that run. I find I kind of would rather take damage than lose prayer unnecessarily though. Because food's cheaper than prayer pots. Did just get a clue scroll but I haven't had a chance to read it. I suppose a defense pot wouldn't hurt here either too, right? Because we are flicking and reacting to different attacks and missing some of the flicks. Maybe I just need to like fully commit and buy prayer pots so that I can keep my chivalry on and get the best rates. That's the problem with this is that it costs money compared to Nagua's. And I'm trying to minimize my cost and I don't know if I should be. Check after this kill what the current XP rates are because I've no idea. Okay what we're looking at. 100k an hour. I think it's about the same then. Very similar. What's this clue? Easy first step, you know we'll be doing it. Can't figure out when it's worth pre point Not pre point re point even. It's hard to tell if we're going to be making bank trips. So far, four kills. I've used three doses. So. Tiny little tip as well. When I'm just killing small rats, I can turn chivalry off because we always max it against them. And 15 is way lower than our actual max it, so it's easy to just kill them. We don't need the prayer, basically. It would just be draining our prayer points. So I just slap prey melee on when those guys spawn, because they do hit if you don't have prey melee on up to four each, which can get annoying. Ooh, we got after the spine, baby! That is an extra 5k bonus XP. Not gonna claim it just yet. I'm not sure where it's going to go, to be honest. I haven't decided yet. Going to report now. Yeah, I might put spines on defense. I don't suppose it really matters, but the more ways I can passively get my defense up, the better. Which is why I'm going to be barraging on or bursting on defense when we go back to zombies. Which I may do some of tomorrow, because it's been ages since we've been there. That being said, we are still one magic level lower than we'd like to be for it. To be fair, the cost of prayer pots and potions is probably justifiable with the money you make here from random rune drops. Like, if I actually did the math, it'd probably work out as close to be free to be here as well anyway. I'm not gonna do the math on the cost front, because it's not entirely relevant to me. At this stage, we've got a lot of money to work with, and... Our cash stack's not going down, it, you know, we've already got a lot of our gear now, pretty much all of our gear that we want for entry level attempts. Is there anything we're missing now? I think, like, the Blood Moon set and the Serpentine Helm are the only other things I had on my list that we don't have, and we're not going to have the requirements for those before we try entry. We will still be planning to take those if we own to normals, which I'm planning to do, but... Yeah, for entry, I think we've got everything already. We just need 75 magic and 70 melee starts to get started. Oh, I just missed a rat call. I killed him too soon. That would have been some more free XP. Maybe I should bring my darts as well between kills, actually. I never thought about that, but that actually doesn't sound too bad. I think I'm just going to bring more prayer pots as well and leave my prayer on more. Uh, leave my chivalry on more during phases where I'm switching to other prayers. Because I think it does hurt the DPS to take it off quite significantly. After all, we did grind out for it because we wanted to use it while training. So I'm just going to like leave it on here and one tick the protection prayer, for example. I think that's the best way to do it. Because I've been turning it off previously to try and conserve. But we're making enough return profit to pay for extra prayer potions. I might even go for a super combat.
Nice, rats at the end. That's what you always want to see. Let you keep your DPS up between kills. I think we've got time on this food, but yeah, six minutes. Don't leave your prayer on between kills though, you idiot. I don't know what this song is, but it's a vibe. Pheasant peasant. I have no idea where you get that from. Might be from the forest um, mini, f something to do with forestry or the pheasant mini game random event thing. It's a bop though. Room chain body. I mean the drops have not been bad today. We've made a couple hundred k, but we've s spent probably the same amount in supplies. So I think I'm gonna report here. Just get the most out of my last seven or eight minutes. Lovely stuff. The kills are, are very satisfyingly fast. I don't know how many we actually did today. What did we start at? Our first kill was 272. So we've done almost 20 kills today. The fuck is my character doing? Ooh, full prayer potion. That is not a bad drop at all. We don't complain at those. Would extend the trip time if we weren't about to leave for birdhouses. But we are. I'm going to get the one more kill because that'll be a nice clean 20 kills for the day. In about 40 to 45 minutes spent actually here. Including travel time to get here as well. But not including the other time that we spent doing things today like burbs and herbs. About 40 to 45 minutes. So it's about a kill every two minutes, roughly. Feels quicker than that though. I feel like the kills are more like one and a half minutes. There's just downtime waiting for him to respawn and shit like that. May as well send that spec, it's the last kill. Oh, I'm excited to see these numbers and finally, finally, after a long time, compare these two things that I've been talking about being very similar for a long time. All right, clean up time and then we're out. Another full prayer pot, that's such a good way to end. Okay, I'll take it, it's no spine, but I'll take it. Let's go do our bird houses real quick. Alright, done for the day, 30 seconds left on the clock. We'll do some bank calking, make sure we get all our efficiency in. Do a quick reset of the invent for tomorrow. There we are. Okay, let us get this tab up. 111,000 XP gain today. Right, what I'm gonna do, go find yesterday's so we can compare the tab fully with one another. Okay, so this is yesterday and today. Yesterday we got 5k more XP in total, 10k extra in magic XP there. That was pretty much the same, that was pretty much the same, that was pretty much the same. Uh, the attack XP there doesn't matter. The... stop putting that horrible bar over it. The strength, we got ever so slightly more strength XP at Scurrious. Ever so slightly. And we also got 5k from the lamp there. So combat stats, we had a slightly better rate at Scurrious than we did at Nagua ever so slightly, by 6,000 XP. We gain 6,000 more combat XP, but we gain 10,000 more magic XP at Sulphur's passive light Alkin, which I think may be more important than, and consistent than the spines, necessarily. I don't know how this even looks to y'all. Does it look okay? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we're good. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a tough call. They are very comparatively similar. Effectively, if you're not Alkin, you should probably be at Scurrious. But if you are Alkin, you should probably be at Nagua. Obviously, the, the cost and expenditure is still something that's up in the air, but I don't feel like I really changed my cash value from when we went out to... When we came back, after having to spend some money on potions and stuff, like, I, th I think we made it back mostly today in loot. If we just look at the individual kills, we got a prayer pot, a prayer pot, three rune pieces there, four, five, an addy piece, 8k, another rune piece, another rune piece. Like, it wasn't that bad at all, so... 
We probably made about 200k there today in alcohols, which more than pays for the potion costs. So it's basically free either way, so that's not really a factor either. Very comparable. Very comparable. I'd say the difference is in the alkin and the effort of what as well, of course. Sulfur is way easier to do for a day than Scurrius is, but maybe that means you enjoy Scurrius more, whereas Sulfur you get bored with it, you know. There's all sorts of things to weigh up here overall when deciding which method's better, but either way, you're going to be getting some of the best melee combat experience rates in the game. Like the fact that I'm able to get 100k combat XP per hour, that is laughing in the face of sand crabs. The number one strategy that content creators and players alike used to level their account. We're laughing at sand crabs right now. Laughing. In our shitty little gear, getting higher XP rates than fuckers out there with bandos, tacits and fangs. I don't know if that's accurate, but it feels like it probably is. So yeah, you have your answer there, sort of, in a roundabout way. Not fully, but sort of. In this episode and let's just have a look at this lovely little tab that's starting to come together we still don't have our melee weapon yet but i should probably put the niche knot helm in here as well let's get that in the raids tag because that is what we're going to be taking on entry mode do we have a mixed hide top still we don't okay i need to get one of those i think that's what i'm planning to take into raids is a mixed hide top it's honestly not that much worse than a fighter torso and until we have the level for blood moon yeah i think it's the best alternative i'm gonna go mixed hide top bless chaps and then just swap the top or maybe i'll go mix hide buff i don't know we'll figure it out point remains I guess we don't need the ancient staff anymore because we've got to try and or we will have at least one remains we're looking pretty fucking savage right now i can't wait to get into some raids with you all it's going to be a lot of fun before that though we do need another strength level another three attack levels four defense levels and six magic levels along with four fire making and one crafting but those should be nice and easy I will probably get the fire making and crafting done tomorrow because it's been a few days on the waiting list while we did this whole comparison deal. So yeah, come chill with me at Winter Todd tomorrow as we get our requirements for Beneath Curse Sands fully out of the way and then we can sprinkle that in amongst the combat grind somewhere too. Until the next time though, that is going to be all from me so I will log out wish you a good day be lovely to one another hit the like button and the subscribe button leave a comment down below and be lovely to me too look after yourselves and i'll see you on the next one